Well, I made it to Mississippi. I went and got uh, all my stuff dropped off at camp. Uh, I've got some spots marked on the map that I'm wanting to scout. This is one of them here. I'll be camping out with uh, the THP boys and my friend Adrian's down here as well. I think everybody's in the woods hunting at this point, but uh, since I just got everything unloaded and all that, I'm just now starting to get in the woods and do a little scouting. Gotta wear orange because it's uh, still rifle season, but the area we're hunting is bow only, so I'll be bow hunting. Let's get in the woods and see what I can find. It's very wet. There's a lot of rain uh, past couple days. Uh, water's up. It's already a swamp to begin with, so it should be interesting, but uh, we'll see what we can find. So what we have here is I'm coming off of this ridge, and all out in front of me is just swamp. I can see some water down there, but I can also see uh, dry ground, which is good. Got the wind in my face. There's our first sign right there. There's a lot of deer tracks I've been seeing. And there's a climber, so. There's a lot of deer signs so far. I haven't seen anything distinguishing other than the ridge I came off of. There's a slough going back that way. I'm kind of working away from that slough, but I figure I'll run into water again at some point. Be looking for water or thickets or both to kind of funnel the deer. Also, trying to locate some bedding if they're not just bedding out in the open. It's not very fresh, but I'm seeing a lot of tracks and stuff along the edge of the slough, so I think that's probably a good place to start. There's another climber in here. Both stands are real close to the road. I'm gonna have to get across this slough, I think. I'm still right by the road. This creek follows the road pretty much for a long ways. But I've quit seeing hunter sign, which is good. And I've not quit seeing deer sign. like tracks everywhere still, especially following the creek. Two minutes later, I see a deer about 100 yards ahead of me. The wind keeps kicking back. It's blowing straight at the deer now, which I don't think it'll make it over there before it switches back. The prevailing wind has been coming this way, but it's it's switching too much. I don't like it. Well, it's a button buck. Big surprise. I don't know if it's the only deer. It's the only one, well, I think the only one I've seen, but it's kind of thicker down there. I'm not sure if that's the same deer. I don't see nubs on that one, but I, it's hard to tell. feeding away from me. Took me forever to get up top because of how crunchy it is, but they uh they're still there but they're they're moving away slowly. Those two deer were bedded right here. There's a bed right there at the base of this tree where it's flattened out. And there's a bed right here. I came down this this way. They probably got off bed not long before I saw them, and then they're feeding off that way. I've lost sight of them now. I think it was just two deer. I only see two beds. There's a button buck and a doe. Well, 
they just busted me. I don't know how because they're about 80, 80 yards. Of snuck in behind me from across the creek. I heard something behind me and this doe snuck up behind me across the creek and ran off and she's blowing now. It's dead quiet in here. Like one of the quietest evenings I've hunted all year. Busted by another deer. That buck was about 40 yards from me when I stood up. I decided I was going to hit the road. I swear all I did was I stood up and just started looking around and poof, he took off. I can't breathe too loud in here. It's real quiet and the deer on high alert. The button buck and the doe that were bedded right here behind me. And another doe snuck in quiet behind me and busted me. And then this buck snuck in right next to me and busted me. But I'm going to walk back to the truck, probably scared 15 more deer just walking to the road. I'm only 50 yards off the road. Well, I got a text earlier I forgot to mention. Uh, Adrian says he shot a good one. Uh, he went with Lee, the guy who's uh, letting us stay at their place this week. Uh, they went in on a boat into the middle of the swamp, and he said he shot one, so... Hopefully they'll uh, be able to get it out without any trouble because I don't know where in the heck they are. I can't really go in and help them. Uh, we'll go check that out whenever they get out of the woods and we'll head back to camp. Yeah, you're into that. Well, if I went with you, I'd kill one. Yeah. You've been all right. How'd y'all do? Where's he at? How'd you do? He's in the truck. Let's look at well, him. What are we waiting for? Nice. Now we left him in the swamp. Seriously. We're going to go back and uh, get him in the morning. Okay. I never shot one, obviously, back that far, especially in the swamp. And Lee says it's going to be a lot easier to uh, to just go in and, and we'll take the, the, the knives and whatnot and bags and we'll debone him and everything because we weren't. That's the way to do it. We pretty much weren't prepared for, for all that. And uh, just the water was up so high. I mean, it was it was, it was pretty adventurous to get in there. I had one window when he walks through the slough. I knew I had one window, and he took he he took a so he's walking toward me. Takes a left, right into that window. He hadn't stopped at all. He stopped right there. It was like <laughs> what the heck? It was like he wrapped it up for yeah. me. And, and and I'd already I'd drawn back on him when he went behind this little tree, and he stopped. And I hit him. Uh, I saw the picture. Duck double on, you know, just that's um, pretty cool. So. I mean, it was, it was, you know, sometimes it's good to be lucky, I guess. I'll take it all day. It's good to be lucky yeah. and smart. Yeah. <laughs> smart. Yeah. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Hey, 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 Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Right. Yeah, I get you some gumbo. It's good yeah. gumbo. Yeah. Really good. I just yeah, wish we yeah, could get that's the first one I've ever hey, seen. What's up, okay. first one? Going right back to where those two deer were bedded yesterday.
It's about 9.45. I'm gonna probably go down the road and check out another spot, but I'll probably be back in here. If I don't find anything crazy down there, I'm gonna come back up here. Uh, that buck was real nice. Uh, I thought he was gonna come to me for a minute there, and he just kind of fed around and went back the way he came. He kind of followed the contour of the creek, so I think he may have, he may have bedded along the creek somewhere farther down. Well, someone else is parked right down the road from me. I did not see him this morning. I didn't hear him park either. I still might be back here this evening. Just depends what I find at the other spot. I'm going to do some scouting and, and maybe we'll run into something. Alright, I just got back in here. I crossed that slough that I was hunting on this morning. Um, I just realized I wasn't, I, I didn't have my microphone turned on, so I did a little bit of talking about what I was doing. Basically, I'm pushing back in farther and uh, looking for bedding cover or or uh, any other water source any other funnels that would funnel deer movement i will say the amount of tracks has dropped way off since i've got back here now i did see that buck back here this morning but i've got a ways to go uh, there's still most of the deer sign is up by the road i got this other slough back here seeing a few tracks but nothing crazy like back by the road but um, hopefully i'll get into some heavier tracks at some point along the slough and then I'll set up. I'm back to the original slough but a little farther back from the road here. I came through here yesterday afternoon and set up down there. But uh, there's a pretty good trail right here following the edge of it. The sign has been real spotty back through here. But it seems like this little slough here is what really concentrates the deer in one area. So I'm just going to ease down here, maybe find a crossing but maybe just climb a tree anywhere down in here. Well, it's a dud tonight. I'm wondering if between me and the two other trucks parked down there, I think we may have uh, boogered the deer up a little bit, kind of pushed them around. Uh, I'd like to try another spot in the morning. I'm going to head back to camp, see how the boys did. Uh, Adrian has hit the road. He had to go home. He, him and Lee got the buck out today. There's a light off in the woods. Somebody else was hunting farther down. Definitely going somewhere else in the morning.